In this short video, I'd like to explain the constitutional status of compelled biometric decryption. If you haven't yet watched the main lecture on compelled decryption, I recommend viewing that first. So, here's the fact pattern. The police have seized a device from a suspect, and they'd like to read some files on that device. The data stored on the device is, however, encrypted. And the way to unlock the device is a biometric feature, such as the suspect's fingerprint. What the police would like to do is provide the encrypted device to the suspect, along with a demand for the decrypted files. That might be a subpoena, or it might be a warrant in conjunction with writ authority. The suspect would then decrypt the data with the right biometrics. And finally, the police would take back the decrypted data. The question posed by this fact pattern is, can the Fifth Amendment prevent compelled biometric decryption? And the answer is no. I'm not aware of any scholar in this area who believes that the Fifth Amendment, as it's currently interpreted, protects biometrics. At the time of recording in 2014, there's been just one case on the issue. A state trial court judge in Virginia agreed that the Fifth Amendment does not protect biometric encryption. In that case, in fact, the defense appears to have conceded that the Fifth Amendment does not protect biometrics. Let me explain why legal views on this issue are so one-sided. The Supreme Court has held that the Fifth Amendment protects against compelled, self-incriminating testimony. This is plainly compelled, and the data could be incriminating. So the key legal question is whether biometric decryption constitutes testimony. Recall that courts ask two questions when considering whether compelled production is testimonial. The first is whether the production involves the contents of the mind, providing implicit testimony about the existence, possession, control, or authenticity of evidence. In making this assessment, courts often ask whether the production is like opening a safe with a physical key, or like opening a safe with a combination. Then there's a second question, which deals with the ambiguous foregone conclusion doctrine. The reason biometrics aren't covered by the Fifth Amendment is that they flunk the first question. There's quintessentially no content of the mind involved. The police need your body, not your brain. And as far as analogy goes, your finger is a lot more like a physical key than a combination. Courts have long allowed the police to collect fingerprints, draw blood, and more. These cases of physical body evidence just don't involve testimony, and so there's no Fifth Amendment hurdle. So, here's the takeaway. In order to be eligible for Fifth Amendment protection, a security feature must involve a mental secret. 